Hey YouTube, it's David from MDB. Welcome to our next part of tutorial of WordPress theme development with WooCommerce support. So in the previous um, lesson, we've been working on our product page. So um, how to uh, create and style the product page for our e-commerce. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to work on the shop page. Um, and we're gonna do it using slightly different methods. So without further ado, let's get started. So as I mentioned to you, um, and if you watched the previous video, you've seen that we changed and we adjusted this one using WooCommerce templates, hooks, and a little bit of CSS and so on. So this is the one way of working and the other one we're gonna learn now. So um, now we could do pretty much the same. So we could have a template for the shop and then try to adjust it, but we're gonna do something uh, slightly different, a little bit more complex, but that shouldn't be too complex. And in my opinion, it gives you a little bit more freedom on what you uh, what you can do, uh, you are not strictly tied to you know uh, existing schedule, existing um, structure of the files, so you can create them by your own. So what we're gonna do? We have this WooCommerce file which is responsible for displaying all the WooCommerce pages. Um, so we're gonna add <clears throat> something like this. Uh, I'm gonna add um, a small condition. So I'm gonna say something like this: if is shop or actually it's not a shop then please do display what you've been displaying so far but otherwise if this is our shop page then please echo shop so what it does basically checks whether we are on the shop page and if you are on the on the product page nothing really changes because we are falling back to this one and if we are on the shop page and only shop page we will see shop right okay so now we have this one here um let's close this up and because we will be adding now a bunch of html here so um now we are free to actually start uh, start building uh, our uh, HTML template. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with, let's say, container um, with some margin on the top. I'm gonna add some row in here, okay? Uh, and uh, this is my row. Now, um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use something uh, which is a called custom query. Mm, so I'm gonna open PHP and I'm gonna run the following uh, following query. And uh, so let me just copy paste this one. So we have some arguments here. We have paged. So this is for um, for uh, pagination. We have more products. Mm, and this is basically we we are uh, passing three arguments to our query. So we are we are searching for products, so not, not posts, not pages, but products. Uh, we want to have six per page uh, and we want them to be paged, right? So this will, this basically what is what it does, it is a um, WooCommerce or actually WordPress mechanism, which allows us to easily, you know, uh, query through, if you have multiple pages, it will just take care of it. So it will basically all the math and it will always return you first six, then next six and so on and so on. Now, let's have some uh, counter here because um, oops uh, because we would like to um, let's say maybe we will we will if you have like nine products maybe we would like to show like three uh, in each column so every three would like to start a new row so this is gonna help us to uh, keep control of how many products do we have right now um, and we're gonna say a loop and this will be our new WP query and we will pass this arguments as a result. So this is our query, WP query, and we are passing these arguments into width. Mm, okay, now I'm gonna copy uh, this, this loop code. So we have this uh, and let's 
have also here and while and echo found product. Let's see now. We have some unexpected token token 36. What we've got here. Oh, we didn't close PHP. Right, found product, found product and so on. Um, now counter. So let's do, uh, let's, let's give a counter here. So, um, counter plus plus mm, and let's echo found product or I just do let's just do like this so we have this one two three four products right so we have uh, as many as many loops as many numbers as products we have now um, let's add some more code uh, over here so while we are in the loop i'm gonna get some bunch of uh, variables and then again i want you to rewrite this code from a screen that doesn't make sense just check the source code down below uh, where you're gonna find it so since we are not using this custom functions from uh, from woocommerce so since we are not using their hooks we have to get um, to this different, you know, meta data manually. Um, if you think of it, at the end of the day, WordPress has this nice and simple structure that you have. Um, you have a post um, and uh, you have this meta value. So you have a meta key and meta value, right? So you can have like meta key author, meta value um, admin and something like this. So we are what we are doing here, we are basically getting um, this um, uh, getting access to all this meta value manually. So I have this image here, and this is the function which basically will give me, uh, will return me the, the, the image address. I have regular price, right? So this is the post meta, right? So I have the regular price, sell price. So it's, if you want to display, you know, sometimes you want um, some, some stores, they have just a price and that's it. And some will do like sales price. So you, you would like to, you can set up with WooCommerce uh, regular price and the sale price and then you can do nice, you know, uh, effect on just, you know, um, displaying the regular size crossed uh, and then like new price or sale price and, and then make it visible just to encourage people to buy because this is the sale. Then we are getting product categories. Uh, so we could also display, uh, display a, a category. Okay, now for each of those, we would like to, mm, we would like to do uh, following. Um, let me close this PHP here and open the new one. Okay, and here I would like to have some uh, call MD4. So let's say I want to have uh, three in a row. And let's go to uh, mdbootstrap.com and let's grab some card. So cards. And let me grab some card. Um, yeah, some basic card over here. I'm gonna just copy code and paste it. Boom. Now when we refresh our shop, which one is it? I have too many products. So I will get this four cards, right? One, two, three, four. Now they doesn't work as expected okay now they work as expected so we have two we would we were supposed to have three but this is because of this counter so now we have three next to each other mm, so let's do the now the simplest part will be just to um replace this data with the proper value so here we don't we want to do something like this php echo image and this is an array, so I want to have, uh, this is the gallery, so I want to have the first image here. Let's check. Boom, I've got images here. Now, card title. Instead of the card title, I would just do um, regular D title, something which you already know from a um, previous tutorial. This will give us a product name over here. 
Now, I want to get the link to our product so we could uh, get more information when we click on it. So echo uh, get permalink. So you, you also know that uh, we've done this in the past. So this is showing me, you can see the link over here in the uh, bottom left corner, Neku 4, 3, 2, and so on. Um, so that's working fine. And now let's do something like this. I don't want, I don't want um, this, uh, I don't want this uh, text here. Um, we don't want to have any text, but I would like to have some wrapper. Oops, wrapper. Um, and what I want to do here, um, I will add here uh, two buttons I prepared before. Um, so the first button will show us the category and it's going to work as a link to the category. So maybe we would like to have uh, more, I'd like to see more. Oops, some, hold on. Uh, hold on one more time. I missed the closing A tag here, I guess. It's this one. This is that one. This is this one. Yeah, okay, the diffs uh, are okay. Let's refresh. Yep, so we have it something like this. Knuckles. Um, and let me, maybe we will change this uh, to deflex and justify content between maybe that will look better yeah okay so this um, is now showing us and this is the category page and then again we are falling back to the default one and then now you can decide whether you want to change and update this category page using uh, templates or do it customly like uh, we just did here and here is the uh, this will basically add to cart and then you can see that this add to cart is also automatically showing this default WooCommerce template. We can obviously work on that and make it uh, make it um, much better. Actually, I think that oh, we could even do a quick fix here. So um, here we could do, I think, container because this is where it's falling back now, I guess. Yeah, so already it's already looking better, right? So, uh, and then it's a card. Um, yeah, and it doesn't look bad. So maybe it would be wise just to you know, work on this one and add some styles here on, or there. But um, yeah, basically that's, that's how it's uh, working f uh, right now. Um, and this WooCommerce, where is it? My file, WooCommerce. And obviously if we play with uh, this one, will have just three. So now you can imagine that on your your shop page you could have, for example, like here, uh, knuckles, and then you have this this query. Then you could have like rings, and then another query. And you know, like it's on Amazon, you could just do a different um, different uh, setup. Like here, right? You can have uh, some landings, and then you have one category. Uh, the other category, right? So uh, you can also doesn't nothing stops you from doing this like that, right? So you could just we are looping and adding this um, and doing this 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 cards over here, but that could be also uh, something like this. So uh, this, um, this 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 nice mechanism with um, with uh, arrows. So this is how you can actually create your custom. Uh, shop page, uh, which is totally up to you how it's going to look like. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're going to find it uh, easy. Uh, if um, something uh, pops in your mind, if something was too difficult, if you didn't get some of the part of the code, please don't hesitate to leave the comment down below or to join our Facebook group and post your question over there. Um, and definitely someone from our team or the, um, the, the Facebook group member will definitely help you out if you enjoy this video please do not forget to smash uh, the like button mm, don't forget to subscribe and turn notification on and keep on watching because i'm going to show you how to deploy this blog with the matter of seconds just with a single comment in the uh, separate separate uh, video um, so this is going to show you that you can not only create 
your WordPress team very quickly, but also that you can also deploy it to web without hassling with, uh, you know, creation uh, of your hosting database, uh, uploading files and so on and so on. You can just do it with a matter of, um, yeah, I would say seconds. And that's what you're going to show. That's what I'm going to show to you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video and keep coding. Oh, 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 oh,